Thank you, and good morning from my side. Um, we have another project. I'm also from the Austrian Institute for Regional uh, Studies, and it's on a, a bit different scale, because uh, the project Eric has just uh, referred to is more on the methodological side, on the side of indicators, and the other one is uh, territorial impact assessment for cross-border cooperation. So here we're actually really trying to, to do something in, uh, on an impact assessment level. Um, so the main objective here, uh, it has a bit of a delay. All right. Um, okay, so the main objective here is to develop a methodology. So, so we're on the methodology side, uh, specifically tailored to access uh, territorial impact ex post for cross-border cooperation programs. So to allow policymakers and practitioners uh, to obtain evidence on the one side and also to have this methodology at hand afterwards. So it's, it's, it's developed and it's tested and refined. And in the end also we will have a better understanding on data needs because there is always more. It's there's always something that could be done to improve uh, the availability of data. And yeah, this kind of links to what the other project is more closely dealing with. So um, in more detail, the objectives are like measuring the impact, which is uh, what also Julia referred to, that this is kind of uh, a dire need for, for cross-border cooperation programs. and. Um, what is the best way to do that? That's what we will deal with. What kind of indicators and methodologies are needed and what data is needed? And is there a possibility to compare, which is still, you know, there's always a debate about that. Like there is, uh, there is like uh, always, uh, yeah, you have to, there's a trade-off with comparability because you have to tailor it to the needs of the program and then you lose something about that if you only aim at comparability and in the end, how to communicate that. So that's, that's the objectives. And how we will deal with that is in, yeah, in the four-step process here, or three, it's only three, sorry. Um, so um, I think it should have been four, would it be? There's something lost? Yeah, there's something lost in the layout of that slide. I don't know why. Anyway, um, so we will base on what is there? So it's pretty obvious on the state of the art of, of uh, territorial impact assessment, ex post territorial impact assessment, specific, more specifically uh, methodology that is there, and on the needs of the stakeholders. And then we will have to develop uh, a methodology and test it, and uh, pre-test it, test it, and then fine tune it. And then we will come up with evidence for these cross-border stakeholders. Like this is, uh, we are working with five cross-border cooperation programs which is uh, truly rep representing the lead stakeholder for these uh, five programs. So there's four more, and there's some people from these programs also uh, in the room. Um, um, and we will then come up with guidance and recommendations uh, on the use of these results. We will discuss these results with the stakeholders. And finally, yeah, we hope that there is something to improve also future design of the program. Um, and yeah, in the end, the point four, which is not here, is guidelines for the stakeholders on communication. I will come to that anyway later. Um, the methodological approach, as far as we know it now, because we just started the project, so we are just working on the overview and, and getting a, a more specific idea on the state of the art. We have a, quite a good idea, but like filter it for the applicability, the data needs, and so on, um, is well, the, the general thing is pretty straightforward. We will have to look at the program, how it works, what is there in terms of data, then see what is the relevant program effects we need to see for the impact, how to measure these effects, and do an impact assessment and report it. So the, the really tricky part is in two to four here in this process, um, how to proceed is in terms of steps is pretty easy. The, the trick is what to do within the, the steps, and that's what we will have to deal with. And we will also have, we also have a participatory approach in this project, which is pretty strong. So we will have a series of three workshops. Uh, the first one is actually targeted at the needs and at the, 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 the programs and understanding their 
needs and the relevant program effects, they need to be depicted in an impact assessment. So we will try to um, revisit the intervention logics, identify the main effects, and try to see what, what we will have to come up for with, with indicators and what we will try to, to, to yeah, depict. And then we will have to uh, where we will develop the methodology tested in these five impact assessments, and then we will revisit uh, with the stakeholders to discuss with them the results and the advantages and disadvantages of the process, what we could achieve, what was not so well achieved, what is future uh, challenges that need to be addressed, and so on. And in the end, uh, we will come up with, uh, we will have like, uh, recommendations how to to uh, deal with this evidence in communication. Um, so this is the, the 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 main outcomes we we aim at is like understanding the state status quo in the beginning, then develop this methodology, uh, uh, test it, and come up with a handbook in the end that allows for the replicability of that methodology of a pre-tested and then tested and refined methodology. I have the evidence for these five uh, stakeholders on their CBC programs and recommendations for them and in the end also a communication guidelines on how to deal with the results of these, uh, of such a, uh, an impact assessment in terms of how to communicate the results uh, for the programs and other stakeholders. Okay, thank you.